it's maybe not as much drama as a lot of people expected. Uh, so what we do see is that uh, the current situation indicator uh, uh, has declined uh, following the PMI and the difference is the expectations. And here we see a stabilization and that explains why the overall index was more or less stable. So it's a gloomy situation. Uh, German, the German economy is not escaping the recession, but the decline is not as dramatic as uh, some people may have expected indeed, yes. And on a forward-looking basis, what does this tell you about the, the severity of a, light, of a German recession and potentially the length of a German recession? Uh, yes, there, there is going to be a recession, uh, but a lot, of course, will depend on how energy markets develop. We do see that energy-intensive industries are, are pessimistic. Uh, for, for the winter, they see the risks. At the same time, uh, in, in, in manufacturing, for instance, order books are still full. Uh, so um, th there is not, uh, you know, what we do not see is a collapse of demand yet. Uh, so that, that helps. At the same time, uh, bottlenecks are still there. There is uh, perhaps surprisingly uh, no big change in bottlenecks. Uh, one might expect that as the economy weakens, uh, bottlenecks become less important. That's not the case, at least not in manufacturing. Uh, so it's a mixed bag. Well, IFO have talked about curbs in production in certain German industries. Where are those curbs most pronounced? Which sectors? Yeah, it's uh, in, in the energy intensive sectors, for instance, in the chemical industry, in the steel industry, uh, companies are cutting production. Of course, the key issue is how long will this last? In a way, this is a necessary adjustment because what we need to avoid by all means is a gas rationing scenario. That is becoming less likely, but it's not off the table yet. So there may, may be gas shortages in, in February, especially if, if the winter is cold. Uh, so that's the biggest risk, I would think. The thing we've been watching very closely the last couple of weeks is the drop in natural gas prices and actually the uh, near-term delivery of uh, Dutch TTF contracts briefly dipped negative yesterday. Is that going to have any positive knock-on effects to, to these industries or is it a case of because storage is pretty much maxed out, there's nothing they can do at this point? I think it's really that it's the physical infrastructure, uh, so storages are full. Uh, these low prices will not remain. Still, I think they are kind of a good sign, meaning at least if, if, at the moment there's a lot of gas available. But of course, these things will become uh, will change uh, in the winter. And as I said, our projections in this area very clearly say the most important factor really is the weather. If it's a cold winter, the situation will change and we will get into or might get into difficulties in uh, February or March.